All right, I'm trying this last part one more time because I did not share the right screen. So let me go ahead and start this off. Wonderful. So the last interactive um, data product that we're going to look at is called Flex Dashboard. And this is actually one of my all time favorite tools in R. What it does is it allows you to create a dashboard. So piece together different components, um, whether they be static, whether they be interactive, like the HTML widgets you just worked with, or if you want them to be you know, shiny components, which again, you'll, you'll probably learn about later in this course, but it allows you to piece together those different content types into a dashboard where your end users can come and, and take a look at all of that at once. The very nice thing about Flex Dashboard is that it's, um, it's, it's just based off of R Markdown. So knowing R Markdown, which you all have familiarity with, will allow you to then um, arrange and configure you know, a full dashboard. So it's a really powerful tool. It doesn't require you to learn any new tools or any new you know, coding techniques. So I, I highly recommend using this and I believe that um, for your final project in this course, Flex Dashboard does play a role. So it's, it's good to get familiar with it now. What I'm going to do, and hopefully I don't make the same screen sharing mistake as last time, is actually jump over into the Flex Dashboard here we go, website. So similar to what we did for HTML widgets, this is the Flex Dashboard website. Um, it's really nice. It has a ton of information first on installing and then, and then some of the basics. But if you take a look at these examples, you can see really what's possible with this Flex Dashboard framework, right? This can be, you can make a really simple dashboard. This is just four plots all the way to something a little bit more complicated. Let's go ahead and open this one up just for fun. while this is loading, something that I highly recommend um, is to take a look at the code. If you see a dashboard that is interesting to you and maybe you wanna recreate that with data of your own or for a school project, all of these dashboards are actually published with source code. So you can go to the GitHub, take a look at the code, take different, um, you know, different pieces that you might be able to use for your own dashboard. And that's a really good way to learn. I wanted to show you this one. As you'll see, it's interactive. There's some drop downs. These pieces haven't loaded yet, but um, go ahead and take a look on your own if you're interested. All of this is interactive. Using HTML widgets. This is a leaflet plot. You know, here's a plotly. So, you know, you really do have all of the tools to create something like this. All right. I'm gonna jump over to the IDE. And again, I hope you can see this. Um, so the last piece of this exercise, right? The last in-course exercise here is to recreate a dashboard. So what I have done is I have created a dashboard using the data we've used you know, the entire day. And what you are going to do is you're gonna take a look at it. I'll make this bigger here and try to recreate it. And this is a really good way to practice visualizations, practice different, you know, different parts of, I'm sorry, making different data products um, in recreate in, and by recreating plots and, and graphs and figures. So as you'll see, I've got three panes here on my Flex dashboard. So you can go to the Flex dashboard website and it'll tell you exactly how to configure these three panes. Uh, probably simplest is this static plot. So you'll go ahead and just recreate this, all of the components here. Then there's an interactive data table. And probably the more complex part here is this leaflet plot. Um, you know, take note of the area that I've, that I've selected. And then if you zoom in, you see that there's different coloring um, and I have a pop-up here. So you do have all the tools, you know, you might want to go to the leaflet website to see how to do some of these more um, complex pieces like the pop-ups, but you do have all of the tools to recreate this. As you know, all of the code is on my GitHub. So if you get stuck, go ahead and take a look. Switch screens here. 
here we go. As you know, that's the course exercise. I just have you know a visualization of this here. I've also listed helpful links. So Flex Dashboard is here, HTML Widgets is here, and then some others that you might wanna look at um, throughout you know, this last exercise here. And last piece before, you know, before I leave you, um, and this is just kind of a, you know, an aside, but make a portfolio, you know, you're doing a lot of great complex work with R in this course, and likely you'll go on to use R in maybe other courses, maybe, you know, you go off to a job and you use R, and it's really important to keep track of what you've done, um, especially with GitHub, right, so people can go look at your code, but our studio has created a number of different ways to do this just using the R Markdown framework. So with that, you can make a blog, you can make a book and, and you know, book down is how Brooke creates the textbook for this course. And you can also make a resume using the R Markdown framework. So I highly recommend doing that. You don't know when, you know, that's going to come in handy. And it's also kind of fun to track your progress and see you know, how far you've come from, for example, your first blog post to your 20th, right? You inevitably improve. So highly recommend doing that. I've also listed my email address here. And if, you know, anyone ever wants to reach out to talk about anything R or our studio or, or really anything, happy to chat with you um, anytime. So thank you all and enjoy making this dashboard. <laughs>